Um, Lenny Martinez, I'm a sophomore in Air Astra actually. Um, part of the Saving Gora Gora group. Our game is called Saving Gora Gora. It's a game about, well, it has to do with the topic of cholera and our goal was to sort of teach children how to prevent cholera because our target audience were Ghanaian children ages 8 to 13 approximately. And pretty much our main goal was just to sort of educate them in a fun way that wouldn't seem like we're educating them. Okay, so our design brief was pretty general. Um, it said, look at the cholera toolkit and that's online, that you can find online, and try to create a game to sort of teach kids about cholera. So they gave us our target audience, which was Ghanaian children, ages 8 to 13, and then we were thinking of originally, well, it was an idea that we had from based off Animal Crossing, where it's a bunch of different mini games, so each mini game would include a small lesson, and then overall, like they would all come together to com be one large meta puzzle. And in solving that meta puzzle, the players would learn how to, I guess, prevent cholera or counter cholera, and that was most what led most of our design process. Uh, the visual style came about. Well, we had a very well, we had original visual style that was very different from what you guys saw in the presentation. Um, we had to research, we had done research on children, but we had to sort of take a look back and sort of redo everything because it wasn't as, like once we compared it, once we had a finished build, we compared it to some more research. Uh, we had to research on like sort of what cartoons would better look like and we found that our, it was sort of uh, very different and very clashing. So we did some research more on Ghanaian culture and we sort of tried to find, make it sort of fit better and so we went for a more artsy, woodsy, cartoonish, little, well, very little kid, but it's still not too childish for other people. I originally really was interested in the class because one of the textbooks was uh, Design of Everyday Things and it's a book I find really interesting. I've like, been trying to read it, but it's kind of hard with the curriculum or the overall MIT curriculum. But um, So I really came into the class thinking that I really wanted to work on the design aspect of things. But as we started working on projects, the management side became a bit more interesting, a bit more something I started working a bit more because it was more accessible for me with my not so robust knowledge of coding. And, but then later on for this project in particular, I took the role of the writer so I was in charge of writing most of the dialogue and that was also very interesting. So I feel like I gained a lot more skills than I thought I would have. Uh, I think a really big part of the process is to start writing really early. Um, the writing, we sort of left it off a bit until we had the general mini games and sort of used the writing to tie everything back together. But I think it would have been a much more smoother process or a much more interesting process how we started the writing, how we used the writing to lead the design process. Um, but it wasn't, I mean, it would have been better had we started earlier, but it wasn't too bad of, too much of a difference between the work we have now and the work we had before. But aside from that, I think uh, it's really important to start, meet early with, like, meet early and like sort of come to a consensus on what you want to do. Be uh, we had a lot of mini, the reason, a lot of, we had a lot of more mini games to begin with than when we ended, and it was good that we met early and sort of decided what to cut and what to include, and that sort of helped us lead on, uh, like work towards one common path. Uh, working with the client was very interesting. I, we met him two, three, well, four, five, maybe almost five times I think it was. I, we've met him a lot, we've met him a lot and interacting with him was interesting. Um, the first time we met him was where he sh uh, did a lot of demonstrations was sort of, sh I guess, showed us more what we were supposed to be aiming for because it was a very social interaction, and very deep interaction. And that's, I think the goal of our games is to be a bit more, is to be really deep while also appearing to be very just playful. And he also helped us um, when we were going our, un our art reworks that he was suggesting like, maybe you should look at these, you should look more towards this type of the culture, this part of the culture or this part. And that was very nice as a sort of interacting. Class has been actually really fun. It's a lot of work, 
and but it's a lot of interesting work because once you see like the game, I actually hadn't seen the final like the builds we had until today, and it's like this actually is like really like the di I hadn't seen I had written the dialogue separately, so I was working sort of just looking at the pic the art assets, and it was very nice to see everything come together in one nice build of like here's the game you helped make. It's wonderful.